Good day, ladies and gents. BSG just published a preliminary roadmap for Escape from Tarkov Arena. And I'm gonna go through their patch notes and add something they haven't mentioned in those patch notes. Um, so, first of all, there will be a gameplay patch at the end of February. Uh, let me move my camera real quick so you can see it. End of February. Improvement to the ranked mode preset tier system. So, right now when you play... Well... Ability to select a preset tier before matchmaking. Right now when you play Arena, you just go into the matchmaking and you select your preset after you already found the match. And uh, the game the game ranks your opponents, it, it ranks your preset based on the previous five games. So if you're playing with a tier 1 preset, the game will try to matchmake you with tier 1 presets. However, you can still select tier 7 preset uh, while playing against tier 1 presets, which doesn't make too much sense. So right now you will be able to select a preset tier before matchmaking. There will be three tiers, uh, tier 1 to tier 2, tier 3 to tier 4, and tier 5 to tier 7, I believe. And once you select one of those sets, you'll be locked into selecting um, preset of that level. And same goes for your opponent. So the matchmaking will be much more fair than it is right now. Preset system rework. Complete preset rebalance, improvements to the preset leveling system, team limit on buying same presets in the match. So, first of all, complete preset rebalance. I cannot talk about small changes because I don't know them. I know that the main big change will be grenades. Right now, all assault classes have uh, grenades. Some of the assault classes have even two. There is a kit with uh, one VOG and one F1 nade. However, all of the nades from assault kits will be completely removed. And uh, the nades will appear on some of the marksmen and uh, bolt action classes. So if you want to play with the nades, you have to level snipers up. I also believe BSG plan on adding more nades spawning on the maps. So you will be able to leave the spawn and uh, grab the nades somewhere nearby or maybe closer to the middle of the map. So there will be no more spawn of nade spam. Uh, improvements to the preset leveling system. Uh, BSG said that they want to make sure that leveling your presets is not as painful as it is right now, because right now you grind the preset and then you have to go all the way back down. I'm not sure how they're gonna do it. Maybe... Maybe um, they're gonna just speed up the progression or maybe there's gonna be some way of leveling one line of presets while using another line of presets as long as it's within the same class like if you level up a south left tree and you completely level it up if you play on the maxed out assault kit left side you start leveling right side i don't know we'll see team limit on buying same presets in the match i know they've stated it for the competitive play aka for tournaments that there will be uh, there will be available only one preset well, one of each presets per team. So let's say if somebody in your team grabs Butcher, that's the class with RIS-T and SA-58, nobody else can. So only one preset of each for the team. How is it going to work for usual matchmaking? I have no idea. Is it going to be like uh, first to peak, first to play, just like in um, Overwatch or in Valorant? So people are going to be spamming the buttons to buy the presets as soon as they can? Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. All right, next. Hitbox and armor systems from Escape from Tarkov. So Arena is still using the old hitbox and the old armor system. And BG are going to try out the new hitboxes and the new armor system with uh, plates from Escape from Tarkov. I think they mentioned if it works fine and they like it, they're going to keep it. But if they don't like it and it seems... I don't know. Uh, it seems that the old uh, system was working better, they're going to revert it. Uh, next is improvements to custom lobbies. Configurable available presets. So basically you will be able to go to custom lobbies and unlock all presets for everyone. So you can try all presets out. I think that's a great thing. Especially for people um, getting ready for tournaments. Or for example, you want to play with your friends and you're unsure which uh, kits you want to unlock. So you have a chance to try all of them out first. Which is a great thing. Configurable character skill level. You will also be able to choose the level of the skills of your PMC in custom lobbies. Um, I believe in... Um, yeah, I believe like for tournaments it's gonna be set around 30. 
might be changed in the future, but yeah, good thing as well. Configurable number of rounds needed for victory, self-explanatory. Pre-configurable team names, not sure what that means. All right, next is Chop Shop location for team fight mode. Right now, Chop Shop is available for shootout only, that's why you play two versus two. And uh, soon location will be ready for a team fight for a five versus five. And game client performance optimization. So we should be getting better frames in Arena, which I think is a really important aspect for game to succeed. All right, this is what we get at the end of February. Now let's move on to the mid-spring. Even though originally I thought this patch is supposed to release somewhere at the end of March, the same mid-spring, we'll see. So maybe, maybe still mid-March, maybe mid-March. New location, block. New game mode, last hero. Last hero. Um, I don't know what last hero is. I don't think they talked much about it on the website, but I believe it's um, something like the, the king of the hill where everybody spawns on the map and only one guy survives, one guy wins. Unranked mode. Really good, really good thing. Uh, people will be leveling presets in unranked mode like there is no tomorrow. Nobody should nobody should play ranked with the presets that they want to play. That's what I personally believe. If you want to play with the top preset only, you should be able to play with top presets only in unranked and you don't have to be, sorry, in ranked. And you don't have to be forced to play with the presets you don't want to in ranked just to level them up. For me personally, it makes no sense. I don't think it's fair. I think if you play ranked, you should have all uh, kits unlocked so everybody is uh, on the same level. Because like if somebody is uh, new to the game and they play ranked, they have only low tier presets, um, I, I, I just don't think it's fair. Either way. QOL improvements, all right. Cleanup crew behavior improvements. So cleanup crew, whenever cleanup crew spawns in right now, there is a big the sync in arena, the whole server stutters for like one second, one and a half seconds. And it's super laggy, people lose frames, uh, everybody teleports on the map. And um, hopefully BSG improves it and they said they will. So this might be aimed at the cleanup crew behavior, like their spawn behavior maybe. Um, game client performance optimization, all right, better frames. Anti-cheat improvements, good thing, sure thing. Synchronization of Escape from Tarkov and Escape from Tarkov Arena game profiles. All right, that's an important thing. So right now, Arena and Tarkov are unlinked. You don't have the same character in use. However, whenever there will be sync, you will have two characters. So one character will be used for ranked mode. He will have a set number of skills. So you will always be at level 30 of every single skill. Um, and your PMC for unranked mode will be the same one you play with in uh, the usual EFT. So you level up skills in EFT, you level up skills for your PMC in unranked mode, and vice versa. You level up your skills in unranked mode, you level up your PMC in Tarkov. Um, implementation of overtime system and teamfight. All right, so there will be the difference of two, I believe it's called. Basically, if the score is 4-4, you need to win two more rounds to win the fight. If it's 5-5, Etc. 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 So if the score is seven seven and somebody it's like one team wins two rounds, it's going to be seven nine. The team with an end rounds wins. Uh, all right, midsummer. Oof, this is this is far away. This is this is not coming anytime soon. Preset customization, ability to modify equipment presets and uh, the weapons in them. So, I am not sure if you will be able to change the weapons. Maybe you will be, I don't know. Maybe you'll have to use the money from Escape from Tarkov. Oh yeah, by the way, synchronization of Arena and Tarkov profiles. I believe you'll have the same amount of, well, the money is gonna merge. So, if you have like 20 million in Arena and 10 million in Tarkov, both of those numbers are gonna merge into one and you have 30 million rubles overall, which you can use in Tarkov and in Arena. Or maybe somehow you'll be able to transfer the rubles in between the in, 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 in between the games. Uh, all right, and yeah, you'll have to use those rubles to modify your presets and buy them, obviously. All right, new location, new game mode, various technical and functional improvements. This is very vague, I have to admit. This is very vague, doesn't give any specifics. QL improvements, custom lobby improvements, match history, ability to view player profiles, achievement system. All right, so all of this is very, very vague. 
like there is no details whatsoever so this could mean anything i guess we're gonna wait till summer and see and yeah i'm super i'm super excited for arena improvements uh tell me tell me in the comments down below how you would improve arena i personally believe faster leveling of kits is a must people shouldn't spend uh 100 hours to unlock one max kit that's way too much maybe make it twice faster so maybe maybe even like 2.5 so a person spends like 25 hours to unlock the max kit or something i don't know maybe like 17 hours ish um and yeah i uh i cannot wait to participate in the tournaments we have our arena team ready and uh yeah thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up share your thoughts down below and i will see you in the next one take care